we are prepared to contribute significant peacekeeping forces to maintain and monitor this prospective ceasefire. I wish to address the recent tragic events in Rafa, in Gaza, which have resulted in numerous innocent casualties, including children, women, and unarmed civilians. These heartbreaking incidents compel us to urgently call for comprehensive investigation into this humanitarian disaster. Understanding the full extent of this tragedy is crucial to preventing such incidents from happening again. We are very aware that the Palestine problem is a long and historical problem. We are cognizant of the fact that both sides have legitimate concerns for their safety, for their right to exist, and for their prosperity. We are also cognizant of the fact that the resolution of this crisis must consist of mutual respect for the rights and the concerns of all parties. There cannot be a single narrative that is legitimate. As is often been repeated, Indonesia calls for a just solution to the problem, and that means the right of not only Israel to exist, but also the right of the Palestinian people to have their own homeland, their own state, living in peace. I would like now to comment on the most recent development in the region. Why this is important for us? Because Indonesia is part of the Islamic world Although physically we are not of the region, but what happens in the Middle East, what happens in Gaza, affect the concern of the Indonesian people. Regarding the most recent development that we have just noted, that we have just uh, heard, that is the most recent announcement by President Biden of the United States of America on comprehensive proposals for a ceasefire in Gaza. Although we have to further study the details of this proposal put forward and announced by President Biden, we do view this proposal as an important right step in the direction that we have to go. We view this as an important step forward. We are very pleased of news reports that representatives of Hamas has also voiced a positive response to these proposals. I would like also to express today Indonesia's commitment to support a comprehensive and permanent ceasefire as an important step towards a real and lasting solution towards real peace between Israel and Palestine. 
and thus real peace in the region. It has been our conviction, along with many other states in the world today, that the only real solution to a lasting peace and security for both Israel and Palestine is a two-state solution. Indonesia supports all efforts and all measures that can fasten the progress towards that final two-state solution. In the meantime, we are prepared to do whatever we can to provide humanitarian assistance as well as when needed and when requested by the United Nations, we are prepared to contribute significant peacekeeping forces to maintain and monitor this prospective ceasefire, as well as providing protection and security to all parties and to all sides. We are also prepared to immediately send medical personnel to operate field hospital in Gaza with the consent and agreement of all sides. We are in discussions with our partners to expedite the deployment of these medical personnel. Indonesia also is very willing to evacuate and treat wounded Palestinian civilians and those needing hospital care in Indonesian hospitals. President Joko Widodo has instructed me to announce that we are ready to evacuate, to receive, and to treat with medical care up to 1,000 patients in the immediate future. Saya Yasir Neneama. Saksikan program-program Kompas TV melalui siaran digital, pay TV, dan media streaming lainnya. Kompas TV, independen, terpercaya.